So hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now today's video is a little bit different because I'm actually answering a comment from someone who's viewed my video. Mitch Charles has said, would you be willing to do a tutorial on setting up a basic firewall on OpenWRT? If I run a shields up, not a single port is stealth. I would love to follow a tutorial, please help. Now, what this person is referring to on shields up, I believe is grc.com and their shields up test, which is currently offline, I can't seem to access it. However, I would like to answer this question because it's something that I didn't really understand at a younger age. So when you run the shields up test, it comes back with things like your ports are closed or your ports are stealthed, uh, etc, etc. Now, one of the things to understand is when you have stealth ports, it means you've configured your firewall to drop uh, incoming requests, so a request from a client or server to your router, say, for example, you've configured it to drop, so the packet just sort of disappears off into the ether. Now, there's massive debates on the internet as to whether drop or reject is better, so I don't want to say which one is better, but what I do want to say is it's more advantageous to set your firewall to reject, which is the default OpenWRT behavior. Now, the reason it's much better to set it that way is that when you reject a incoming TCP request, for example, you can then send a response to say, nope, sorry, not today. And that response will then go back to the server or client who is making the request. And hopefully, if they've configured it correctly in, in the application, it might show the user, uh, sorry, the connection was, was blocked, the connection was reset, for example. And that's way, way, way more useful than setting your firewall to drop, which would give the effect of stealthing ports. If you set it to drop, then what happens there is you don't send anything, you don't send any kind of response. So the client, the server, the, the person who's making the request, whoever it is, they're just sort of sending a request and they're not getting anything back. It's like knocking on a door, but like nobody's answering and then trying the door handle and it's not letting you in kind of thing. And then you're knocking on the door and nobody's answering, but you're not receiving a response to say no, uh, nobody's home. You're just sort of trying and trying until it times out and you get timeout requests. Now, timeouts are worse for, well, the reasons I stated previous. If you set it to reject, you get that TCP response to say, no, I'm here, but the door's closed. You know, come back another day, try again later, whatever. So that is useful for the machine at the other end to then say, ah, it's closed. I'll try something else. You know what I mean? And it can also help to give the response back to a user. Sorry, the, the, the server rec um, rejected your response. Sorry. So it's more useful to set reject. So with that in mind, hopefully that made sense. I will show you how to get the stealth option in grc.com's shields up test. However, someone like me, I don't think is actually that useful. It doesn't provide any more security. Please understand that. Security through obscurity is not security. So in other words, making something a little bit obscure, for example, putting a sheet in front of the front door of your house doesn't take away the front door of your house. It just sort of obscures it, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't make it more secure. You've just obscured it a little bit. That is not security. So yeah, I mean, I hope I explained that correctly. So now let's take a look at actually how to do it in your OpenWRT firewall. All right, so we've found ourselves at grc.com and we've gone to services and shields up. Now you can do an all service ports, which will scan the first 1000 and something or other ports on the external interface of your router. Or you can press common ports, which scans the common ports, things like Telnet and SSH. 
So it shows you your computer IP, which I'll blank out. And we get a true stealth analysis failed. So we've received TCP packets and we've also received a ping reply. And true stealth, spelled incorrectly, for some reason thinks this is all terrible. But the default behavior is working correctly because if you read SSH is not exposed on my external interface because it says right here, your computer has responded that this port exists, but is currently closed to connection. So that's what I explained in the first half of the video, hopefully clearly. So to change that, again, not something I advocate for, you would hop over to your OpenWRT router, you'd go to Network and Firewall, and under the General Settings tab, we can see the default behavior of LAN to WAN traffic is accept, accept, and accept. So if you're on your LAN side and your connections originate from the LAN, let them out to the WAN, let them be free. And the default WAN behavior um, input is reject. So again, that was what I was explaining before. Anything originating from your WAN, trying to access your LAN is then getting a reject response. Underneath the input, it says reject there. So if you just click that drop down and you press drop, save and apply. Now anyone who sends a request to me externally is gonna get the packets dropped. So if we jump over to grc.com, do a control F5 to rerun the test. Again, it'll show you your IP address, which I'm gonna blank. And what we've got here now is stealth, 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 apart from 135, 139, and 445. Now, that is something to do with my Virgin Media Hub being in modem mode. I don't actually know why it does that, nor do I really care that much, but perhaps someone with more knowledge than me will be able to explain why that is. However, when I used to be on Talk Talk, it stealthed them all. So this close, close and close on those ports is definitely something to do with the Virgin Media Hub and is not an OpenWRT firewall problem. Also, if we scroll up, we can see that the ping reply is failed. So, what we're going to do to change that. It also failed on TCP packets as well. We're gonna jump over to the OpenWRT firewall again, go to your traffic rules, and the second rule down is allow ping. So if you just jump over to edit and change the allow to drop, and go to your action as drop, save that, scroll down, save and apply, Wait for that to apply and do a control F5 to rerun the test again. This time it won't respond to ping, but I'm still going to get a truth stealth failed. And that's because of these ports here showing us closed again, a virgin media, something or other that I don't understand, but we've passed the ping echo. So hopefully that answers your question and as always, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.